200 million years ago. The microcontinent was situated near the equator. The Western scientists called it Kazakhstania. The structure with almost full list of elements from the Mendeleev's table inside its depth. What secrets does Kazakhstan soil have? How rich is it? Natural resources are the history of our land for thousands of years. They were afraid of it. They worshipped it. Maybe it was because a human didn't create it but tamed. Its power can turn whole cities into ashes and at the same time to warm and give food to humans. It can be so different. It is fire. One and a half million years passed since the times when humans tamed fire. Yes, it was the times of Stone Age or Paleolithic era when a human being took a piece of firestone into his hands which gave the first spark. Since that very moment began a victorious march of fire that gave energy to the world. Today we drive to our offices by cars and cross oceans by planes. In winter we feel warm in our nice homes and in summer it is comfortably cool. All of these we owe to energy, an engine of life in our modern world. Energy born from the fire controlled by a primitive human. In order to control fire flame, for hundreds of thousands of years people have used different ways. And one of them is charcoal. This type of fuel has not been losing its importance for many centuries. On the territory of modern Kazakhstan, charcoal was already used in the Iron Age. People did not extract it but produced. The metallurgists of early Iron Age clearly understood that they needed charcoal to melt metal. Long time ago, the ancient metallurgists were able to produce charcoal. They took wood and burnt it in large ovens. Semi-finished product of burning was covered by vacuuming substance. This way the fuel was cooled down. Thus, not fully burnt wood turned into charcoal. The time of accumulation and active use of mineral coal and the period of human existence are not commensurate. Coal deposits had been accumulating in the earth crust for hundreds of millions of years. Meanwhile, humans started to actively use coal less than 270 years ago. They found firestone on the earth's surface and later extracted it purposefully. In one word, coal is the first type of mineral fuel used by a human being. And of course, it was one of the reasons of the Industrial Revolution. Locomotives, plants, factories and power stations. All of these were operating due to burning capacity of blackstone. And today coal is one of the most needed natural resources. It gives warmth and light to our houses, paints, electrodes, fertilizers, explosives, medicines and even perfumes are produced of the coal. And coal is a coke without which we would not be able to manufacture metal. By the way, even coal combustion waste can be used as a construction material. In many countries of the world, coal is the main type of fuel for generation of electricity. For example, in the United States, the state with the most liberal market economy 52% of electricity is produced on coal-fired power plants. In Germany, where market economy is socially oriented, it is 54%. Kazakhstan is among top 10 countries that possess the largest coal deposits in the world. The amount of proven reserves is estimated to reach 150 
to 160 billion of tons, which equals to approximately 4% of the world reserves. The richest coal deposits are located in the Karaganda region on the territory of over 3,500 square meters, reserves of almost 8 billion tons of energy commodity has been explored. How did such huge deposits of fuel, which normally originated from organic remains, appear in hungry steps? Раз древесина исходное вещество угля, значит if wood is an initial stage of coal formation, it means that between 300 and 350 million years ago, there were many forests in the Karaganda region. Trees grew and fell down. When they reached definite age, they fell down and petrified. Old trees were replaced by young trees, and this cycle repeated many times. Everything went down. Favorable conditions for coal formation were created. In order for the Earth's surface to go down, being under pressure, woods were not covered by mud or sand, and new trees were growing above such layers. These were the conditions. It means that if there are 85 coal beds in Karaganda, 85 times the surface went down until being covered by water, mud and sand. The end of the Paleozoic era, the Carboniferous period, was marked by the flower time of nature. Primitive algae and plants were replaced by splendid primeval forests with thick vegetation growing near water and swampy hollows. Times passed and all the green flora turned into peat buried in swamps. Then, affected by biological processes, peat was converted to brown and later bituminous coal. So, how much primeval woods were needed to form such coal layer as in the Karaganda region? To form a coal layer with one meter thickness, or as we call it capacity, 17 meters of woods are needed. Just imagine, in Kazakhstan we have a well-known coal basin in Karaganda. There are two basins actually. In one of them black coal is extracted, in another one brown coal. There are 80 to 85 coal layers in Karaganda with a total capacity of 150 to 200 meters. Now, let's imagine how much wood were needed to form such amount. To find out about the history of discovering the coal basins in Kazakhstan, let's go back to 880 years ago. As a rule, in those times deposits of mineral resources were accidentally discovered by the local people. There is a legend, a beautiful legend, about an ordinary shepherd boy named Apak Bajanov, who found coal in the groundhog's burrow. He threw a black stone into the fire and gave a blue flame. The boy is considered to be a discoverer of black coal. Another interesting story tells about discovery of coal deposits in the Pavlodar region. Ekibastas is another region with the large reserves of black coal. By the way, Ekibastas owes its name to another discoverer. And it is not even a legend, but a real story which happened to a local citizen, a self-educated geologist Kosim Shinbaev, at the end of the 19th century. It was a rainy day when the local shepherd Kosim Shinbaev bed down his sheep flock and as usual decided to make a fire. He gathered stones, some of which were as black as raisin. Putting stones around fireplace, the shepherd made fire and he was deeply surprised when black stone suddenly started to burn. Being well experienced stepman, he understood that were not stones, but coal which was of a great value at the time. Being happy with his discovery, the shepherd quickly went to his village, and in order not to lose the place where he found pieces of coal, 
Kosim decided to mark it, but he had only two knobs of cattle salt using which he marked the discovered deposit. That's how the name of Akibastas was born, as it can be translated as two knobs of salt. Today, the local law museum has the name of Kosim Shinbaev, the discoverer of Akibastas coal. The museum stores the history of the coal region. В начале 20 века начинается более промышленное освоение и, скажем, The industrial assimilation started in the beginning of the 20th century. After establishment of the Soviet government in the second half of the 20th century, the village of Ikebastos was founded on the territory of the Ikebastos region. In 1957, the village became a city. The coal industry group of Kibastas was established with 50 million tons of annual estimated capacity. Since 1970, near 3 billion tons of coal were mined. Today, there are three large open pit coal mines on the territory of Kibastas Black Coal Deposit. They are Eastern, Northern and Bogota. The latter has the highest capacity. Bogotá is the largest open pit coal mine, not only in Kazakhstan but in the world. Its estimated capacity is 50 million tons of coal per year. Nowadays, the Kibastas deposit provides coal for the largest power plants located not only in Kazakhstan but also abroad. Kazakhstan coal is famous not only for its great variety, an excellent coke is produced from the country's bituminous coal, and coke is an important fuel for metallurgical plants. Coke in coal is consumed by metallurgical plants of Kazakhstan and Russia. What is coke? It is processed coal which produces large amounts of energy. The temperature between 1,500 and 1,600 degrees is enough to smelt iron. In the Karaganda metallurgical plant, we produce steel and cast iron. In order to melt hard types of iron ores, we need coke which helps to produce large amounts of energy. Coke production gives benefit in two ways. Firstly, we provide coke for metallurgical plants. By the way, the Siberian metallurgical plant also takes coke in Karaganda. On the other hand, we give coke to metallurgical plants. And on the other hand, during the coke making, gases and resins are separated, and they are chemical raw materials in fact. The experts say it will take time for coal reserves of Kazakhstan to be exhausted. If we take existing mining rates, solid fuel is enough for another 200 years at least. Moreover, the scientists admit possibility that in certain conditions, Kazakhstan coal can be turned into oil. If we compare elements containing coal and oil, these two substances are close relatives. The key difference between solid and liquid fuel is content of hydrogen, the high-calorie element. How to turn coal into oil? It is possible, and the experiments have been already made. We are talking about Karaganda coal mines, especially Shubakol, which is not far away from Karaganda and 150 kilometers away from Jeskazgan to the east. There, coal has high value and good quality. As I said, the quality is measured by ashes, and there the percentage of ashes is low. It means coal is pure, and pure coal can be turned into oil. In order to do that, we need to turn carbon into hydrocarbon, and it means we need hydrogen. The compound of carbon and hydrogen seems to be a simple formula, but it has huge impact on all of us. Oil is a manipulator of the modern world. It is a starting point for market indexes. Even the shine of gold fades away in front of it. 8,000 years ago, ancient people sealed joints in city walls when erected in Babylon. And today, it is an economic instrument. Nowadays, price of oil barrel is important for the budget of any country, and Kazakhstan is not an exception here. The good thing is, 
that our country possesses enough oil reserves. The first data about oil in the Atara region was found in papers of military and topographic expedition that took place in 1717 when it was headed by Dubikovich Cherkasky. But only 150 years later, Mr. Kirpichnikov, a Russian mining engineer, wrote, No doubts, there are large accumulations of oil. While oil needs were growing, methods of oil extraction were improved. Initially, people gathered oil with buckets. Then, they started to drill small wells. Each time, the technology became more complicated and improved. Вообще-то нефть была открыта в Казахстане в одиннадцатом году, Рачангуле. In Kazakhstan, oil was discovered in 1911 in Karachangur. It was an English company named Noble. Makat and the saw deposits have very rare type of oil. During the Second World War, this oil was used in the polar aviation. It didn't freeze, and it could be used as automobile oil to fuel tanks and planes. So it was not afraid of frost. That is why today, after over 100 years, oil is extracted on the old deposits, even by liters, as it is very valuable. There are still debates around the question where oil came from. And in this regard, scientists split into two groups. Some of them think oil forms from inorganic substances deep inside the Earth's crust. Others believe that black gold has purely organic origin. Those who believe in inorganic origin think that everything goes from the Earth's crust. Molecules or atoms of carbon and hydrogen leave the Earth's crust and get into sedimentation masses where they form hydrocarbon compounds of oil and gas. Molecules or atoms of carbon and hydrogen leave the Earth's crust and get into sedimentation masses where they form hydrocarbon compounds of oil or gas. By the way, they say reserves can be renewed because of such formations. For example, the raw iron deposit in Tatarstan and deposits in Bashkiria that were exhausted. And 15 years later, geologists came there to drill deeper as the upper layers were exhausted. So they drilled deeper and found renewed oil, refilled. We have such cases as if oil came from the crust. But still, the majority of scientists insist on organic origin of oil. In other words, today we extract substance which was left by organisms that had lived in the Paleozoic seas. For millions of years, this biomass had been accumulating, being pressed and going down to vacuum space, where anaerobic bacteria turned organic substance into hydrocarbons. The scientists widely accept the organic theory as it was proved. Let's take Balhash as an example. Seven rivers fall into the Balhash lake, the huge mountain range of Alatau, Zailiski Alatau, then Tian Sheng. The height of this range increases by 10 to 12 millimeters every year. And Balhash Basin is located lower. That's why all these rivers meet here. And of course, we should not forget about vegetation. We have very beautiful mountains with forests and different types of fir trees. And sooner or later, all these organics, as grass and leaves, get into these rivers where everything is mixed and then accumulated in the basin. If we explore the sediments of the bottom of the Balhash lake, we will find there even black shales. And black shales are processed organics in which the process of oil formation is happening. 
Today, there are 15 oil deposits in Kazakhstan. The largest of them are located in the Caspian Depression, Mangishlak and Usturf. Here, in the country's west, a major part of hydrocarbons are extracted. If you ask why this region has the highest concentration of oil in Kazakhstan, there is a clear explanation for that. Нефть сама, она находится в как раз в этих пористых пластах. То есть эти пласты, они называются... Oil is located within these porous layers. Пласты, где есть пор... These layers are called collectors. It means these are layers that have pore spaces. There is space where oil can move being pressed within the crust. And these collecting layers usually form in the sedimentary basins. Sedimentary basins are big deep water depressions that have been collecting sediments for millions of years. For example, sandstones, limestones or mud. Thus, this process of collecting layers looks like a kind of layered pie, which has porous interlay, impervious clay. In these conditions of porous layers, with impervious clay, appear in the sedimentary basins. Today, Kazakhstan has 253 oil and gas deposits with 5 billion tons of explored reserves. The largest are Tengiz, Karachaganak and Kashagan. Our country is one of the leaders in terms of explored hydrocarbon reserves. Oil is an energy created by nature. Simply imagine how many different types of organisms have been collecting the energy of sun for centuries to give it to us millions of years later. And today we should understand that development of power industry is a big responsibility and the demand for energy, which is so important for the humanity development, is high. <laughs>